Right. My concern here with Teo is that if I just show you, we are going to need another engine at some point this year. We're going to need another ERS unit for certain at some point this year. And there's a reasonable chance that we're going to need a new gearbox, although that one is perhaps less certain. But I am thinking that for Hungary, which is a race where chaos tends to reign supreme, as we experienced last year, it might not be the worst track in the world to uh, to take some penalties because our low speed and medium speed cornering aren't all that. So I think I think that is pr this might be the race to take the penalty. Everyone keeps whispering Lando's name, and I am sat thinking I've got a new head of aero coming in. I've got a new race engineer. Like if there was a, if there was a time to bring in a big driver. It would be out. It would be land right now. But then again, we've done so much with Albon. We've been on so many adventures with him that I, I don't know if I can bring it to myself to you know get rid of him. I, I kind, you know, I kind of like being sentimental. Is that boring? Like I could go out and just sign the best drivers constantly, but I, I just there is part of me that just likes being sentimental. Like, I, I like sticking with a driver because I think when they then succeed, the perseverance, you know, it feels so much more earned. At least that's that's what I tell myself. Right, I reckon we can get one driver into Q3. I need to think about um, part two. I need to start juggling parts of practice, and I think we're going to have to take some penalties on Teo. Like, if you look at the parts here as I swap them back, like, for Albon, the part situation is actually really not that bad. Obviously, I want to save some of our super fresh stuff for tracks we're going to be better at, so I'm going to use some more of the more used bits. But then when we compare that with Teo's situation, I'm going to need a new engine this year. I'm going to have to take at least one new ERS unit. And gearboxes... <laughs> Yeah, gearboxes. We've got 12 races left of the season. It's a 23 race season, but five of them have been sprint races. So I've done all the sprint weekends now. Are two gearboxes going to last me? A new gearbox is only a thousand. Mind you, I can't take the new one actually because this is unused. I'm going to take this now. I think at some point later this year, we are going to be. Um, suffering with a gearbox penalty but i think for now we take the ers we take the engine and we'll use this gearbox for quali as well and then we'll take them all out after quali so did i say a thousand i meant a million chat i knew the number i meant we've got 36 million in the bank imagine if an f1 gearbox cost a thousand pounds that'd be well useful i'd buy one in a heartbeat tracks ramping up but i have to imagine those times are going to be good I feel like that yellow flag of signs is going to have mudded a lot of people. Okay, we're good. I was never worried about going out in Q1, he says. Okay, Pachet 8th, Albon 9th. What time do I want to go out here? Now, I've just seen Max Verstappen go out. That's the go codes. Worked so well for us last time. I think we've just blocked Lando Norris on his final push lap as well. So everyone like that. I'm hoping here that Norris is going to get further enough up the road. He's not going to be a concern for us. Whether or not it works out like that, we'll find out in a second. Okay, both drivers green through this sector. We're coming up to Lando here, though, who's not in a good spot for us to have to clear and is potentially going to mud us. I don't know if we lost time there behind him. It kind of looked like Albon panicked about trying to get past. Pacher's now trying to get the same move done. He's actually met him at a much better point in the lap. That's better. Yellow sector two for Albon, but he is already in third. Lots of people going on their out laps now, but I'm just getting my lap in nice and early. These are the laps that are going to matter for us. Pacher, fresh engine components, taking a grid penalty today. Can he place himself in a position to get through? Into Q3, I mean, that seems likely. Albon didn't improve, yeah, that's good that's good but I think that's okay. I have been juggling a lot of content lately. Like People might have noticed I've not done any reaction feature video stuff for FM24, um, like the most recent blog posts. I'm hoping to do that this weekend, but I have been quite busy with the content. I, there will come a point where between the Dortmund save wrapping up 
and uh, FM24 coming out where I probably will just have a few weeks off doing content just to chill a little bit because it tends to be rather relentless otherwise. Uh, good news here, by the way. Both drivers through. Signs in danger of going out. Although he is improving at the moment. So is Ocon, so is De Vries. I can't imagine it's going to be enough to knock him down. I expect Signs to go quicker. Yeah, Signs is fast. But P6, P7, not too shabby. Right, we're doing a prediction. We're not doing a prediction, sorry. We're doing, we're doing this session here, but actually, I kind of want to save two fresh sets of softs for the race. We're not going to send Pacher out this session. Albon setting a first lap here. This is on very used tyres, so that's why we're whizzing through. Fifth. P5. Fastest. Not ideal. Is Danny Rick on a push lap here or an in lap? He's on an in lap. Okay, that's fine. He shouldn't get in the way for us here. Paul Pacher just chilling in the garage, not going out. He did his job. He showed some pace in the car. Now we get to see how we get on here. I'm hoping that Danny Rick, who's on his in lap, isn't going to block us. I'm also assuming that we are going to make it to the line. I think we're going to be the last car to pass the line, actually. We're going to push the next lap. Yeah, we are. Right, let's see what we can do here. Last car on track. It's rubbered in. We're quick. Are we going to be quick enough? That's what we're going to find out here. Seven temps down after the first lap, so that was on a very used set of softs that had already done two laps. Okay, Albon, purple sector one. Sorry, sorry. I don't get excited. I am starting to get giddy. Fastest three sector one. I mean, we have really bad low speed and medium speed cornering versus a lot of other cars, but I feel like the acceleration just kind of makes up for it. Also, very DRS heavy sector one, and our DRS efficiency is very good. Still, got to improve a lot. Good improvement in Sector 2. Where are we going to be here? Where could we dream of being? It's going to be a wet race. Bashir starting at the back of the grid. Where is Albon going to land his car? He's going to cross the line here. Where is he going to end up? Well, I'll tell you what. After the fastest Sector 1, I was getting very... <laughs> I've been blue-balled that. Is anyone else getting excited? Just me? Just fastest sack to one, and then that's what he pulls out there. That is... I was I was waiting for his name to jump up. Just didn't happen. Just didn't happen. Now, the question is, when is this rain coming? What is the rain saying? Oh, chat. Oh, no. This is going to be a soft, inter, wet, soft race. Like, that, it's a fun amount of rain. It's going to have to be into then wet, I think, at that point there. It's going to be... We've not had a race like this, I don't think, yet. Oh, this could be mad. This could be an insane race. Chat, that is the strategy. I think I have to run this race. There's going to be a question mark over, is it worth going to Inter's here? That's going to be the big question mark. Or is that drying out rapid enough that you stay on the wets to go straight onto the slicks? That's going to be the big question. But I think both drivers, yeah, both drivers have two fresh sets of softs. So we can actually run the softs aggressively, which is nice. But I have a feeling that today's race, this one here, it's going to be one of those mad ones. I'm kind of booking in my pit stops here. The reality is that the pit stops are very unlikely to happen on the exact laps I'm preliminary booking them in for. I am very much arbitrarily picking stuff just to have a plan in place. But it's very pretty with all the colours, isn't it? Okay! Ferrari lock out the front row of the grid. That has not happened many times this save game. Bashir starting at the back. Albon starts seventh. Rain is coming around lap 10. Is everyone on the softs? Danny Rick's on the hards. I wonder if the teams on hards and mediums didn't have two sets of softs and so they're saving softs for the end of the race. Contact at turn one. Who's crashed? Pedro Who's Debris. Debris on track. Who crashed into Teo? Are you okay, mate? Was Teo involved? No, it's the Hugo Boss cars. The Hugo Boss Civil War. It goes on. Mick! Ah, that is... 
Mm. I mean, to the Mick fans out there, I'm very sorry. It's not what you want to see. Good news, though. Mick isn't in last. Matt, it was actually Maloney who went off the track. So you've got that going for you. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Albon really needs to get past Danny Rick here on his hards. Yep, copy. Oh, pfft. Teo Pacher, my little friend. He whizzes past Zay Maloney. Zay Maloney has a penalty and is in 19th. The thing is, though, with this kind of race with so much rain forecast, like, there's going to be a lot of chaos. People are going to get people are going to get shuffled around here. It is inevitable. I feel like with the hard tyres versus our fresh softs, we should be able to get him here, even without DRS. Even if he is full sending it. I need to get past Danny Rick here because he's on these hard tyres. Oh, the little switchback. The little switchback. Danny Rick's gone off. It's mind games from Alexander Albon. It's sensational okay, stuff. Let's take a look now. Now, this was at turn one. Albon baits him in with the late brake and then just sends it up the inside. Great dodge as well by Albon. Absolutely sold him. We love it. Everyone like that. Now, he can afford to get pretty aggro, I think, on the fuel and the tyres here for this first stint. Simply because it's going to rain. Fuel usage is going to drop here. We've had, two la we've had two incidents in two laps, haven't we? Two incidents in two laps. Tell you what, if you predicted zero safety cars, I'd be nervous at this point. Albon has no DRS. Uh, sorry, no ERS here. So I am going to have to go and top up and hope that we don't lose too much speed. Seems like Perez, though, in third is kind of slow today. So that works out in our favour. Pacher struggling to get moves done. Although, I thought for a second he was going to get the move done on Sauber and Bottas. We've got Sauber with Hauger and Bottas directly in front of us. Go on, Teo. Send it, son. Send it round the outside. Battle away. Enjoy yourself. But enjoy yourself by being disciplined. That's why we went on conserve and neutral. So we weren't deploying right away. So we have some deploy for these laps now where we need to make some moves happen. Chat, what lap are we going to be pitting here? I think it's going to be between lap 10 and 11. It's a short lap here. So it's not like some tracks like Spa where if it rains, you want to come in early to be safe. The crossover point is around 80 to 90%. Perez, by the way, still ahead of both Red Bulls. But into this corner, you get incidents. How's Pacher doing? How is Pacher doing? He's going around the outside trying to make something happen. Has DRS as well. The Salbert is going to have it as well. But with the inside line, does he get this move done? Does he get it done? Of course he gets it done. We're whizzing. Surely he's not going to get the McLaren as well. Surely not. Tayo Pache, you need to calm down, son. You need to go sit on the naughty step and think about what you're doing here to them, son. He makes the move on the McLaren like it's not even there. There you go. Lando Norris. That's why we're not having Lando in our team. These guys are really scrapping out. Perez has managed to get alongside Leclerc here. The rain should be coming any second, by the way. You might want to get your umbrellas ready. The rain has started a bit. Is it raining hard? Is it going to be this lap that we pit? Is it going to be this lap that we pit? I think doing another lap might be a lap too long. 80% is around the crossover point. By the time we get into the pit, swap tyres, it's probably going to be around 70%. Just have to hope that by the time these cars get halfway around the, around the lap, it is too wet. There's a VSC. There's a VSC. I'm pitting early for the Inters then. I'm going to get on them now. Who went off? Was it Schumacher off? Has he got out? Has he got out? Is he okay? I didn't realise Albon was a Schumacher stan. What happened to Mick here? Mick. Oh, no. That's probably a gearbox, isn't it? That is, that is one safety car for the race. Everyone is now pitting. 
under the VSC. Are we about to get mudded? Oh, Stroll staying out. A lot of the teams aren't double stacking. Oh, wait. No, I tell a lie. Some of the teams aren't double stacking. Stroll and Gasly have been left out. It's a bold strategy. It's very bold. Right, good stops here, please. Might be held here for Stroll. Perez. Okay, we've made it. We, we're doing okay, though. We've not actually lost a place, I don't think. Teo, good stop for you here, please, mate. Get him out. Please get him out. Please get him out. Please get him out. Why does this happen every time? I'm fine. It's a long race. It's a long race. It's a long race. It's a long race. It's going to be fine. It's a long race. It's a long race. It's a long race. It's a long race. Okay, so who didn't pit there? You got Stroll, Gasly, and Bottas all not pitting. Obviously, they're all going to pit now, except Lan Lance Stroll has stayed out. Is Lance okay? Right, this is going to be a short stint on these Inters, by the way. We're going to be on wets at some point today, and then back on dries at the end of the race. Lance Stroll is desperately hoping for the red flag now. Now he pits. We won't question it. They, they've gone for a gamble. It's not worked out. Hasn't started getting wet yet like I thought it would. Oh, my word. He got a drive out of that corner. We're cooking. We're flying. Our one's got loads of charge. Great overtake by Teo. This is going to be a really interesting race. Before everyone pitted on the same lap or two because of the safety car, just makes sense to pit under the VSC. It was like a really well-timed safety car considering the track was getting wetter. This race here, or rather this stop here without the safety car, I think you're going to see a lot more people pitting at different times. Can we get a move done on the McLaren? I've not got any charge to make it happen. It's going to have to be done... With wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing and no DRS. But I'll tell you what, Mr. Pacher, he might be up to the task. He made some great moves before the safety car and our pit lane position mugged us off. He's got Lando Norris again there for the second time this race. I think I might go early with Teo and Gamble. Which is what I was going to do last set of stops. Then the VSC happened. It made no sense not to stop. Is it too much of a gamble to go with Teo now this lap? I don't think it is if it keeps going at this rate. Maloney is in the pits. I repeat, Maloney is in the pits. No one else is in the pits, mind you. It might be a lap too early, but I feel like we've just been 15th. It's probably worth a gamble. Stroll's pitting ahead of us. Right, Albon, full push here, mate. I assume they're going on to the wets. Box. Okay, Bashir's going to pit early here. Stroll is going on to the wets. Yeah, they're going on to the wets. Maloney is on the wets as well. Need it to start raining hard. I think this is fine. Looking at it, it might be a tiny bit too early, but with where we are, and given our pit lane position and the time we often lose because of it, it's worth just full sending. And with Albon here, we can really, really push. This is Zane Maloney we're trying to lap. Zane, mate, can you get out of the way, please? Yeah, that's exactly it. There is nothing to lose with Teo right now in pushing him. Russell's pitted from the lead of the race. Signs have stayed out. Just checking. We are pitting this lap. Good. Signs have stayed out, Verstappen stayed out, Perez has stayed out, Leclerc stayed out. I'm, I might be going a lap early here. But I think, I think this is pretty good timing with Albon. There is a big train of cars and lots of people are staying out here. Lots of people are staying out another lap. It's bold, it's brave. I'm sorry to the ultras because you've missed a stop there, but... I was a bit keen to see if we came out in clean air, which we have done. Bottas in front of us is on the Inters here, so see how quickly we catch him. 
There's a yellow flag. If it's a safety car now, it'd be disastrous for us. It was a short one. It was probably someone running wide. Oh, Stroll looked up turn one. Did he mud his tyres? A little bit. Nothing major. I think we've timed this pretty well, to be honest, with both drivers. Okay. Albon's definitely catching the back of this pack. Are we gaining that much on the guys at the very front? Signs for Stappen. Perez have all stayed out. Leclerc stayed out as well. Interesting. I really would love to see Bottas, Sonoda, Gasly and co here all come into the pits in front. I'd love to see you lot all pit, please. They've not pitted. Okay. Well, we've got to try and deploy here and get these moves done. But we're definitely quicker than the inter-runners. We're so much quicker than the inter-runners right now. It's only going to get worse, them. The, the track is now officially wet. Without DRS, I think it'd be hard to hold on to a position in front of the Red Bulls and Ferraris, who I assume are now going to pit this lap. They are really tiptoeing around, aren't they? Why is Signs not pitting? Ferrari? Red Bull? Perez? You okay, babes? Do they really think they're staying out on the Inters? For, do they think it's worth staying out on the Inters rather than pitting for the wets? Is their mindset here that they stomach 10 laps on the Inters on a wet track to save two pit stops? That, that is the only thing I can think they're doing at this moment. Which might not actually be a dumb idea as much as we're memeing on it. Joe has now pitted on his inters. If I get past this red we've got so much clean air. Pierre Gasly, I've got nothing against you. I've never had any, any beef with you. But right now you are single-handedly mudding me here, son. I'm going to get rid of the driving clean air instruction because I don't think it's actually helped at all. Okay. Now we chill. Signs has now pitted. Verstappen has stayed out. We lost a lot of time in that traffic, unfortunately. Still gaining on these guys. There's a big train here where the wet runners have all hit the inter runners and are struggling to get by them. Wouldn't mind seeing a load of them pit now. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. I have to say, one thing that I don't think is talked about enough with this year's game is the variety in AI strategy. By the AI, last year, the AI was very predictable in terms of always doing the same thing, and often it was the wrong thing to do. Whereas now you will see the AI have some really interesting variety. We're nearly at the wettest point. I feel like this graph has updated quite a lot. The guys staying out on Inters are being very, very brave. But it might end up being the right call, I'm afraid to say. My question is, do I just stay on the wets and hope that I can get onto the softs whilst they're on their used Inters? Russell did a 128 that lap. Guys in front doing 130. So about two seconds quicker for the Ferraris. And for us, three seconds quicker. We are eating into these inter guys. The question is, do I go off the wets back onto inters? Or do I go for the brave strategy, which is wets straight onto slicks? I think if I do the pitting strategy and go wet, wet into softs, there's no chance I catch the guys in front. I think the braver strategy at this point in time is to just go from the wets to the slicks. And, and that is our only chance of getting significant points. Otherwise, I'm doing two more pit stops than them. And whilst we've been quicker now, we're in clean air. We're not that much quicker. By the way, look at this train here of wet runners behind inter runners. All right, Taylor, let's try and make some moves, mate. You're in 18th. We've got to start making some stuff happen. The wet runners are slowly getting past the inter runners. So, I mean, we already knew this, but the wet tires are 100% faster. Sainz has already caught up to Leclerc. And Russell is now hunting down Verstappen up the road. Interesting. We're gaining so much time at the moment versus all the inter-runners. 
that even if I lose a little bit of time being on wets on an inter track, I don't think it's going to compare to the time we're gaining right now. I feel so bad for Pacher because he's now on the right tyre, but these inter runners are just near impossible for us to get by. I say that. We get past one of them immediately. Get past another tail and we'll talk. So both Ferraris are on the wets. Perez, Leclerc and Verstappen are all just holding it out on inters. There's a yellow flag. Who's had a moment? I don't know who it was, but Pacher has got an overtake on De Vries. Let's enjoy that. Maybe De Vries was the one who had the incident. Oh, things you love to see. What a driver. Oh, Sonoda locked up. Didn't lose any track positions. Okay, we get the move done on Hauger. That's really, really good. Next car up the road is Magnussen, who's also on wet. Bottas and Sonoda on the Inters further up. Albon in this clean air now is flying, by the way. What do we reckon? Albon's in a good spot, I think. I mean, we're really catching up to Leclerc. Who right now is trying to get past a Maloney on wet. Thing is, Maloney's quicker. So Maloney probably doesn't want to give up track position here, which is probably also slowing down Leclerc, because Maloney's on a quicker tyre. Maloney's last lap was a 129. Leclerc's was a 134. Maloney is unlapping himself. And all that that time, we are catching up. Although Maloney has now just given his place back to Leclerc, I'm afraid to say. It's drying fairly quickly. I think I'll be doing five laps on the wets. But it's not a case of which tyre's the better one to be on. It's a case of if I go into the inters, I also have to pit again for the softs. So it's a case of is going wet to softs 20 seconds faster... Oh, sorry, 20 seconds slower than going wet into softs. To which the answer is no. If I pit for the inters now, I lose the advantage that I'm currently getting whilst the track's still getting wetter. If I gamble chat, there's a chance of a podium. If I do nothing, we just end up in sixth, which is where we'd end up if I don't gamble. Like, if I don't gamble. And, and it doesn't work out. Oh, sorry, if I do gamble, it doesn't work. I've explained that awfully. Basically, in this situation here, if I pit, I'm just going to be on the same tyres as these guys and behind them. I don't get anything from that. Whereas if I stay on the wets and then go wet to slicks, worst case scenario, I'd probably get seventh, which is what I'd get anyway if I play it safe. Best case scenario, we get a podium. If, if the Ferraris pit for Inters, do I stay out on wet? I think I would. It's a case of I don't really want to be pitting for the Inters, which I use for two or three laps, because then I have to pit again. Like, I will have lost 20 seconds, which is pretty nasty. I need 1.3 seconds behind Verstappen. The track is drying quick. If it continues to dry at this rate, I'm pretty confident in the wet. The thing is, we're not losing time right now to Verstappen. I can judge it based on when Verstappen really starts to vanish. We saw in equal conditions how quick the uh, Leclerc's Red Bull was compared to us. He pulled away like very quickly in an interview into battle. But at the moment, we're not losing time over Max. I want to look at the last lap times for us versus Max here. Yeah, the Inters are definitely quicker, but they're only quicker by about a second. Stroll's pit for off his wet. Oh, do I play safe now? I think I have to play it safe just to cover Aston Martin. Thing is, they're not that much quicker. Like, the pit loss time here is nasty. Like, if we're doing nine laps and it's one second, it's just not worth it. Especially because now they've got to get past Bashir and everyone. I'm going brave, chat. If it's an error, I'd rather learn this error now when I'm not fighting for a championship than not know whether or not it's worth the gamble later. Is that a fair assessment? Like, we're not losing that much time to Verstappen here at the moment. Considering he's in a Red Bull that's way faster than us. 
I mean, if these guys are paying for the Inters, I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to do something completely different. Ferrari double stacking. I say that, actually, Russell was already out. But both putting at the same time. I'm staying out here. Because I'm going to come out ahead of one of the Ferraris. Maybe even both the Ferraris. I'd just be a, a, be a, a doorstop. We've got 30 seconds on Perez. We're going to lose some time here, by the way. These guys are going to vanish up the road. That is just a foregone conclusion. It's just a case of I don't think they're going to get 20 seconds up the road by the time the track dries. Their inters are worn too. I'll tell you what, our wets are dying fast on this track. It's too late now to pit, not pit chat. Oh, sorry, it's too late now to pit. I mean, it's not. I could cut my losses, but I'm not that kind of guy. I'm too stubborn. I think we've made an error here. But we learn about the error together, you know? If I pit now, it, it's it's too late. If I if I like, if I wanted to pit, I had to do it a while ago. The good news is, <laughs> I was gonna say, Signs hasn't got past us yet. He has now got past me. <laughs> Chat, have you seen the life on these? Oh sh that's dried very quickly, hasn't it? Compared to what was predicted. Have you seen the state of our wets? Our wets might not make it to lap fifty. It'll be fine. We learn. Maybe I shouldn't push the tyres so hard, but they are just hot okay. because of the ta track. Sure. It is drying quickly, right? I'm not, like, I'm not coping here. There's a yellow flag. Safety car here, and we throw ourselves into the pits. Bottas has got a penalty. It's not going to be a safety car, is it? Joe's got past Pacher, finally. We've had a crash on track. Crash involving multiple cars. What happened? Was it Kevin? Kevin! Kevin. That was... Kevin, you can't call him that, mate. It's too, su it's too soon to go on the softs now. I know it looks really sunny, but the softs lose a lot of time above, like, one. It's too soon to pit now, chat. I'm actually losing less time by being on the wets, I'm pretty confident. We do one more lap. We pit next lap on the wets. Are the softs going to last this long? I was not actually check that. Let's just qu quick check. Just just checking. Will, this, will the softs last this long? No, yeah, we should probably be on the we should probably be on the medium, shouldn't we really? That's uh, yeah, media. Yeah, I know. It, I know it conflicts the strategy. I know. But yeah, you might as well pet for mediums now, mate. Yolo. Okay, box, box. The sun is coming out quick. I will say that much. Just as a reminder, before we stayed out on wet, we were behind Leclerc and Perez. Like, I think we're, it's actually going to work out a very similar kind of net position. And also, reminder, everyone else is going to pit. Oh, God, we're at 34% where. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Smile. Right, ultras, come on. These are where we need some big stops. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. It is very soon to be on the slicks, I have to admit. But I can't go out another lap. Is Albon pitting this lap? Okay, yeah, he is. Good. We took a gamble. It didn't work out. I can hold up my hands and say it, but we had fun. We lived, we laughed, we learned. I don't think the strat... Okay, maybe I'm coping here, chat. I don't think the strategy has been disastrous. My concern now is the fact the track is still a little bit wet, so we are going to lose some time here initially. Busy pit exit. I need the track to dry, though, kind of quickly here. I couldn't stay out longer. I know it's too early to be on the slicks. I think we are losing time by being on the slicks. Look, Verstappen's pitting now. It's all fine. I know I was ahead of the curve. The track condition is dry. We're here. This is what we waited for. Look at them all being sheep, all coming into the pits. And I set that trend. They wish they were me. Stroll staying out on his inters. Things we love to see. Look at us go. We're up to eighth. Can push through all corners. Ignore the fact that Leclerc's 13. How, so Leclerc's 13 seconds up the road. So by doing my strategy, we lost seven seconds. 
I don't think it was that stupid. So Stroll went for the two stops, right? We're going to be marginally behind him. He was three seconds behind us before. That's fine. Signs is on softs. That's brave. I think I rate it. What we've learned there is the inters, the wets die very quickly in inter condition. Did anyone else realise they died like that? I didn't think it'd be. I didn't. I'll be honest. Didn't think it would die that quickly. I think it might be time to retire the poo chat. I, I hate to admit it. It's not looking great for him. Although he hasn't got the new parts in his car, but just because our parts are a little. Our parts are a little light at the moment. We're going to retire. Can we clap him in, please, everyone? As Teo comes in here, can I request that we clap him in? I've gone off board with him, so we can't enjoy him coming in. Applaud him in. It is a solid session today. It was up against him. We took a lot of penalties for this race. We took some gambles with the rain. I do feel like if he hadn't been stuck in that traffic of all the intercars, it might have worked out. But he NTs. Get your nice tries in the chat for number 18. He's coming into the pits now. It was a good effort by him. I feel like we are probably not going to catch Stroll here. And so unless anything dramatic is going to happen here, as Bashir's dot vanishes, we can just whiz it on. Who, who doesn't like to get whizzy? It's the last lap of the race. Nothing interesting has happened here to end it. After all that tactical drama, Sainz has got a penalty. Wait, there's been a crash on the last lap. Oh my word, what's happening? It's drama at the front. Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen, battling it out for the lead of the race. And Carlos Sainz has taken them. Kevin? Is that, wait, is Russell taking the lead? Did Russell take the lead with all that? Um, oh, Russell didn't. It's all kicking off in the lead of this race. Sainz has got a five-second penalty. So it's Verstappen racing Russell for the lead of this race. Okay, you're starting the final lap. It's all drama here. Surely Russell should just be let through. What are Ferrari doing? What are Ferrari doing? I mean, Ferrari have been quick today. Sainz has thrown away the lead with that crash. Sainz' softs, by the way, died right at the end. No wonder he's hanging on for dear life. I mean, he's only going to get third for all his efforts. The chequered flag is going to be waved. It's going to be Russell to Verstappen. As for Albon, he's going to get seventh. It's a very lonely end to the race. Signs, wait, signs crossed the line first, but he has a penalty. Chat, does he not have a penalty? Am I confused? I am confusion. Oh, he does have a penalty. There you go. We were brave with the three stops. Verstappen did two stops. Nice variety on the number of stops. No one else did three, mind you. Carlos signs, drops down to third. George Russell wins. Verstappen comes second. I mean, we didn't lose or gain any places, so I guess it's a positive. That's, that's the best I can come up with. We had fun. Mick fans not having a good time this season, really. He is still on zero points. Alongside Nick DeVries, Hauger and Maloney. As for our drivers, well, Perez goes ahead of Albon for fifth in the drivers. As the constructors, we lose ground on Mercedes, but our aim this year is top four. We have not been developing our car for a while. We are all in for next year. Next year, I, I'm, 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 I want to be at the front. And to do that, I think we have to take some pain this year. Good news, everyone. Fastest lap not going. For the fastest lap fans out there, it still exists. You're good.